In this video, I decided to recreate one of my old animations using AI tools. So I will be recreating this particular animation where a character is chilling on a sea beach. So that time I have created this entire animation in After Effects, but in this video, I will be doing the entire illustration using Leonardo AI, and then we will animate that particular image uh, using Pixverse. So without any further delay, let's get started with the illustration process with Leonardo AI. So if you are using Leonardo AI for the first time, then you have to create an account and you can create it very easily using your Gmail account or just giving an email ID and password. But I already have an account, so I'm going to use that. So this is the home screen of Leonardo AI. So let's click on launch app. Now we will create our illustration. So to create an image, you can see a center icon over here. So click on image creation. Now, this particular area might be empty for you, but uh, I have created few illustrations earlier. So I was just trying uh, and I was actually trying to play with this particular AI tool and see what I can create in different style. Now, uh, I have to create an image that I already have a description because I already have this particular uh, animation created so I know what are the elements I want but I don't want to explain it or I don't want to write the whole prompt so there is a better solution to that here you can see this three star icon if you click on it, it you will get an option called describe with AI but for that you have to just uh, upload an image. So I actually need this particular image in case you have to upload it, just click on here. And from here you can browse and select it and then open. But right now I just have to uh, select this particular image and let's click on confirm. And now Leonardo AI will actually generate a prompt based on that particular image. Okay, so now our prompt is ready. It has properly described the entire scene, the entire illustration basically in prompt. And right now, if we click on generate, it's going to generate something similar to that particular illustration. Now here, from here, you can select a preset of the model that you want to use for this particular image generation. So Leonardo Phoenix is the latest model they have introduced just I think few months back and uh, the speciality of this particular model is uh, you can further uh, do iteration on that particular image you can actually edit that particular image using prompt so you cannot do the, it in other these other models so that is the speciality of this particular model and of course if you want to create something of anime style then you can select this then there is a uh, cinematic if you want to create something uh, cinematic or realistic or photoreal some something like that then this model is suited for that particular task but right now i'm just going to select leonardo phoenix and let's create on generate okay so it has already created the image based on this particular prompt now we can further edit these images using this prompt area here we have to just describe what changes we want now let's say i want to create the similar kind of image in 3d pixel style so let's type 3d pixel and i also want to remove the parachute and also the dolphins from the frame and i also want it to be in wide angle view Okay, so it has updated based on the prompt. So if I check out the illustration, I mean, this one is almost similar to the original one. Just there are few changes here and there and plus the style is different. Now, if we check out the next one, and this one is looking actually a lot better than the previous one. All right, so the generation is actually a lot better than I expected. So in this particular generation, there is some issue with the mouth of this particular character over here again you can fix it again by the iteration you can uh, just type in the prompt and uh, just say that the mouth area is uh, just fix that mouth area it's not looking proper and 
just with iterations you can even make your illustration look even better and if you want to even remove this particular frame you can even remove that but i actually like that so i would like to use this particular illustration for our animation so let's click on download and the illustration is downloaded okay now let's jump on to pixforce and let's animate our illustration so we are at pixforce here at the left we have all the options so we need to animate that image so for that we will select image to video now here we have to click and drag that particular illustration so this is the illustration i will simply click and drag and drop it over here and here we have to enter the prompt and just describe the image how we want that overall scene to be animated so let's add something like slow camera zoom in Oh, by the way, when you are prompting on a generative AI model, first check out what are the best practices uh, for on that particular platform. For that, you can check it out on their documentation, which is which will be available for all the AI models. So the normal practices are that you have to add a comma when you are uh, trying to add something new to that, when you are trying to add new feature to that particular prompt. For example, I have added slow camera zoom in. Now I will uh, also describe how the character is going to animate. I will just add something like the character is chilling and just looking around. Then uh, I can also add another prompt for the seawater, the seawater is waving, then comma, and then again, I will add another prompt like uh, for the wind, that wind is blowing. So when the wind blows, there would be some movement in the leaves. So I can say uh, wind is blowing and with that, the leaves are also waving. And even the here of that char character is also waving with it. I can even also add something like the cloud is also there is also some movement in the clouds. OK, so this is my entire prompt. And for this, uh, I would not like to add any camera movement. So I have already added a prompt for the camera movement. If it adds, it's OK. If it doesn't, it's still OK. So let's create click on create and it's generating our animation from that image. Okay, so our animation is ready. So let's check it out. Well, the animation is looking pretty good actually. I mean, there is no movement in the lips, but other than that, the animation is pretty good. I mean, if I needed to do this uh, from scratch using Cinema 4D, then I would have taken like around a week to complete this project. So it's pretty scary how yeah, how much AI has actually evolved. Okay, let's uh, go even deeper. I mean, I'm just going to add few th few more things in this prompt. Uh, let's add uh, add some movement on the leaves. Okay, now our animation is again ready. I think there is some weird uh, movement in the clouds. I mean, the cloud is moving too fast. And also there is no leaf movement for this foreground leaves. The leaves that are uh, near the camera. But there is some movement on this, on this particular leaf. So what I would like to do is uh, just remove this head movement. I have uh, added a prompt like the character is looking around. So this kind of issue happens with the AI. You know, the results are not that consistent yet. So I would like to change the prompt. So let's go to the prompt section and let's change or remove the prompt that was mentioning that character is looking around. Rather, let's add something like the character should look lively. And also let's add a prompt for adding movement for the foreground leaves. And now again, let's click on create. Okay, now our third iteration of the animation is ready. So let's check out. Well, this animation looks a bit weird, but it the result is not that bad. Actually, it looks interesting. It looks like there is some storm on the sea. And uh, I mean, the there is no waves in the leaves, but it's like it is just sucking in this particular uh, tree, this 
particular coconut tree inside the sea water so like this with iterations you may uh, fix uh, you may fix some issues of this particular animation so from iteration to iteration uh, you can even change few things for that animation so like this by editing the prompt and adding some features uh, for for a specific thing you want to add uh, in that particular prompt or something you want to remove you can do that just by editing the prompt and just do iterations. So that is a general process of working with generative AI tools like this. All right, so that was all for this video. So this was a fun project for me. So I was trying to play with the AI tools, mainly recreating my old animations. And in future, I was, I'm thinking about how to recreate explainer videos or 2D explainer videos or even 3D explainer videos with AI tools like this. So do let me know in the comment section if you would be interested in in those topics so that is it i will see you in the next one until then goodbye